Hey there, it's Steve from SeriousKeto.com and in this video we're going to be doing a little chaffle test kitchen to see if we can create a better base chaffle recipe. But before we do that, if you enjoy low carb cooking videos, product and ingredient reviews, as well as lessons learned from my experiences with the ketogenic lifestyle and intermittent fasting, click that subscribe button down there. And while you're at it, click that bell next to it so you're notified whenever I release a new video. If you watched my previous chaffle video, which I'll link to up here, you know that I became a very rapid convert to the chaffle. The chaffle is pretty amazing. And there are a ton of videos out there that I've seen where people are throwing all kinds of additional stuff into a chaffle, like to make a cheeseburger chaffle or a pizza chaffle or a red velvet cake chaffle. To me, that just shows the versatility of the base chaffle recipe. But what I haven't seen is people trying to improve upon the base chaffle, so I thought I would give it a try. A couple of weeks ago, my daughter and I made a couple of videos where we tested out Birchbender's Paleo, Birchbender's Keto, and Carb Quick to see what would make the best waffle. So I got the crazy idea, what would happen if you added a tablespoon of any one of those to the base chaffle recipe? And that's what we're going to try out today. First, the base chaffle. Give it a taste. What can you say? The base chaffle is fantastic. It still just blows my mind that with just two ingredients you can make something that tastes so good. But I've never been one to leave well enough alone, so let's try it out with Birch Bender's Keto. So definitely denser, chewier, drier, and I, it doesn't really bring anything of value to the flavor. In fact, I definitely prefer the base chaffle to this. So that is not a win. Next up, we have Birch Bender's Paleo. And if you watched our other videos, which I'll link to at the end of this video, you'll see that this was our winner over both Carb Quick and Birch Bender's Keto. Like the Birch Bender's Keto, this is chewier, it's denser, but it actually has a decent flavor. It brings a little bit of a oh, sort of a cracker type of a, a flavor to it. So this is not too bad. 
It is, however, the paleo version of Birchbenders, so it brings some carbs to the party. In fact, a tablespoon of Birchbenders paleo will add four carbs to the recipe, net, or two net carbs per chaffle. I think I might like this as far as a sandwich chaffle more than the base chaffle, but you have to decide if you want to add those additional carbs or not. Finally, we have the carb quick chaffle. This, in terms of waffles, carb quick was our least favorite. We really didn't care much for the taste or the texture. Let's see how it behaves in a chaffle. So like the birch benders, carb quick also makes for a denser chaffle. Also, one tablespoon of carb quick has less than one gram of net carbs, so very little uh, impact on your macros. What's surprising to me is I thought I would like this the least because I liked it the least in terms of waffles, yet I like it the most here in the chaffle. I feel like this one would be the best one with some butter and some syrup on it. Yeah, really, this one to me is the most waffly tasting waffle. Again, it's not going to give you that lightness that you would get in a yeast based waffle, but this, this would satisfy my waffle craving if I had a waffle craving. So to summarize, did we build a better chaffle here? Depends on what you're looking for. I think that the Birchbender's Keto, you can pass on that. I think if you're looking for more of a crackery flavor, perhaps something that might be good for a sandwich, that Birchbender's Paleo works out nicely. Granted, you are getting a few additional grams of carbs. I think if you're looking for the most waffly waffle, and you want something that you can put butter and maple syrup on, sugar-free of course, Carb Quick works for you. But the base chaffle is still outstanding and a great delivery mechanism for about anything. I mean, it's, I stand by my previous video. This is truly a keto game changer. I have a few ideas for other variations on the chaffle base recipe, so look for those videos soon. And thanks for watching.